Hello, I'm Victor Rallo Jr. and right now it's uh, the middle of October here in beautiful New Jersey. I wish I was in Italy, but I'm not. So this is a follow-up to a story when I was at uh, Bulgari in Tuscany on the Tuscan coast this summer um, in early September. And uh, I had the opportunity to be with winemaker um, and uh, son of the owner, Sebastiano Rosa, his father, uh, Nico, Nicola Incesa della Rocchetta, the owner of Sasakaya, and uh, their general manager of Sasakaya and all their brands. And uh, I was on the beach Friday afternoon, and Sebastiano came down, we had lunch, and after we, we were uh, done with lunch, he said, I have, a, uh, I have to show somebody the winery, would you like to come? And then after, we're going to taste uh, to see which will be Guido Berto 2009. This is the 2008. And Guido Berto is the second label of the famed Sasikaya. So I said, sure, I'll come. You know, I had no idea what to expect. And I assumed that when they decided which went into a certain wine, uh, which components made up a certain wine. It was based on lab analysis, maybe a litmus paper, maybe some tests of acidity, sugar content, uh, you know, tannins, etc. But boy was I wrong. We left uh, the Susakaya Cantina, the cellar, and the wine master, uh, the cellar master, gave us three bottles in a small cardboard box, and they were like large beer bottles with a beer cap on top, and they were labeled Provo, P-R-O-V-O-A, Provo B, and Provo C, Guido Berto. And there were three samples to decide which would be Guido Berto 2009. Unlike many wineries, they uh, ferment and they age the grapes separately. So the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Cabernet Franc, the Merlot, the Sangiovese would be aged separately and then blended together. At Sasakaya, the blend takes place immediately. So they crush all the grapes and the blend is made at the winemaking prior to fermentation. So with that said, they had three distinct samples from in three stainless steel vats that came from the oak ready to bottle. Um, and they were A, B, and C. So it was myself, Nicolo, Sebastiano, and the general manager. We walked next door to one of the guest houses and it was quite a scene. We opened the windows. There was a table with a tablecloth, no chairs. They put three glasses down in front of us, each of us, labeled them with a Sharpie magic marker, A, B, and C, poured a sample each, and we each got to taste them. And in the beginning, the conversation was in, ta in Italian, and since my Italian is not great, it changed to English since they all spoke in English. And they went around the room, and we talked about uh, the three samples uh, and the decision-making process. And then Niccolo... The, the patriarch said to me, what is your opinion of these wines? And I said, Nicolo, I said, C has an unbelievable nose, but it doesn't have the, the complexity, the elegance of B. And I think B, over time, will absolutely be the best wine. It was clearly the most elegant. It had a, a nice aroma and bouquet, but not that of C. A was clearly too tannic for my taste and I think for the American palate. So the decision was that B, amongst the vote of us all, unanimously chose B to be Guido Berto 2009. And I was part of that selection. And I have some photographs of the bottles, really cool. And it was a, a great experience. Uh, it was enlightening. And uh, that's the way all great places uh, decide how how wine is made or what the final component is. A lot of times they take barrel samples of each different grape and decide how much of each and they might pre-blend to come up with a determination. Here it's all blended prior so the determination is which lot are we going to choose to be Guido Berto 2009. I think you're going to be happy with Guido Berto 2009. I thought it was excellent. It was elegant. It had great finesse. It had a really nice uh, uh, nose and bouquet. It had a long finish. I think it's going to be an excellent wine and I can't wait to see what the experts rate
Guido Berto 2009. The, uh, the wine should be out in a few months. And when it comes out, Wine Spectator, the Wine Advocate, all the big boys will rate it. Uh, I think, here's the, my pre-prediction, pre-prediction, Vic, Sample B, Guido Berto, 2009, will be 93 points. Wine Spectator, Wine Advocate, that'll be an average of all the scores, 93 points. I think it's going to be a great one. Stay tuned, check out the pictures, and we'll keep you updated. Thanks for listening. Victor Rallo, see you soon. Come to RalloWines.com for great deals on Italian wine. Ciao, ciao.